think you have deja vu and you've seen me in this outfit and makeup before, you are correct. I am pre-filming today because I feel like I can get a lot done today, so I might as well stuff as much filming in one day as possible while my makeup's on point. Love my shirt. It's brand new, by the way. What do you guys think? Isn't it cute? It's my skull shirt. I'm feeling the Halloween vibes today. Anyway, today's video is going to be the finale for my um, Pop of Color Project Pan that I'm doing with a few friends here on YouTube. I always will link everybody down below. Of course, these girls have been mentioned on my channel numerous times. In fact, it is a collab with one of my best friends in the world in general. So definitely go check out all the girls linked down below. Their progress is probably just as good, probably honestly better than mine. This project, I don't know, I kind of slacked off on it and I, there's no excuse for it. So my progress isn't going to be fantastic, but I did finish up a few things which makes me really happy and I did get a lot of use on some things which still is a, is progress in general so let's just um skip this whole like you know spiel and dive right in if you guys have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit the red button before you leave pop me a thumbs up and let's okay once again in traditional Shea fashion my products are gonna be out of order from the last video because I just I like to switch it up what can I say um this first product is by Eva NYC and this is the main magic 10 in 1 primer now I am pre-filming this finale so if I do end up getting more use on these things or finish them within the next two or three days when everybody's going to be posting this I will put up on the screen right here if I did end up finishing it up but some of these things I probably won't so anyway I chose this product because of the colorful packaging it's you know pink and purple this uh, you know I, I wanted to finish it and it's it's really close and to be honest with you I think if I had one more week this would be completely gone I did start with it completely new up at the top and right now we are sitting at it being right here so I mean it's it's a little more than halfway this goes pretty quickly it's just a product that I really don't like um, I'm not a fan of like hair oils hair primers hair things that make my hair weigh down or get greasy and this definitely does that it gives my hair a very like unnatural shine like a greasy shine and I don't like it so what I've been doing is I've been putting this in my hair at night before I go to bed and then I kind of let it sink in overnight and wear off on my pillow whatever and I'll wake up and it looks okay but I mean if I put this on during the day when I'm going out or something girl so I'm gonna continue working on that until it's gone but after that I mean I'm probably gonna donate the other three of them that I have this next product again is one that I slacked off on you guys I have been such a horrible slacker in this project and I feel so bad because I'm not usually this like not on point but I think I just overwhelmed myself with too many projects plus we had a lot of home stuff going on like big home stuff um, nothing horrible nothing crazy but just a lot of things that kept me away from actually wearing makeup this month anyway this is the apto healing turmeric mask and i chose it because it's a bright yellow um i know for a fact i'm gonna get a little bit more progress on this before the actual finale finale like the day we're supposed to put it up because i'm gonna use this for the next couple days so i will update you guys um in the description or whatever if i do something you know extraordinary with this but when i started it was completely full to the top this is where we're at now this is all pretty much gone so it's down to about here, which I'm pretty proud of. And I think I might be able to finish this up in the next like three or four days, but we'll have to see. So that is the turmeric mask. I also included three MAC um, fragrance samples as like one item with all three of them. They were all different colors. So I had a pink one, there's a red one and a purple one. The pink one I did use up, it was in the scent candy yum yum. Wouldn't repurchase it, really didn't like it. I actually don't really like any of these. I mean, I, they're okay, but I wouldn't go out and purchase the full size of them. So I already did my empties video, I did film it. I do have to still edit it and put it up and everything, but I did toss that one. So. It looked just like these but pink okay that's <laughs> that's what happened um so this one i actually just used up today this is in the scent ruby woo this smells exactly like cedar wood like wood it literally smells like a man's cologne that's woody and i actually kind of like it but not enough that i would go out and repurchase it so i did finish this up earlier today i'm wearing this today and yeah there's that um, the last one that I have, because we still have technically three or four days before this actual video is supposed to be posted, so I technically still have those days to work on things, I can tell you right now that this will be gone. So um, this is in the scent My Heroine, and we started, again, all three of these were, by the way, were completely full, like to the top of the label. This one's down to about here, so one more use of this and it'll be gone. So I'm going to tell you ahead of time that this isn't empty, so I'm pretty proud of those. The next product that I had was by China Glaze, and it was one of these mini little nail polishes in the shade Santa's Side Chick, which is a matte red. And it's really beautiful. I've been wearing it on my toes 
all throughout this project. In fact, I don't have the original bottle. My daughter took off with it. It was identical to this one. And I can tell you that I got it down to about here. We had started when it was completely full. Um, I did get it to about here. And then what happened was because it's a small nail polish bottle, the brush doesn't reach to the bottom and you can't like, unless you tip it and then scoop it like this, um, you can't really get it out easily. And on top of that, it got so thin thick and goopy and you couldn't get it on properly it wouldn't dry so I did end up using as much as I physically could so I'm counting it as an empty this is a brand new one my second one but honestly I don't like it anymore just because of how much of a hassle these little tiny bottles are so I'm not going to purchase any more of these little teeny bottles and I'm probably going to end up donating this guy but I did finish up the one that I had in this pan so I'm pretty proud of that and my last product, I don't even have the pan to show you. Again, it was featured in my empties video, which will be going up at some point after this. I'm not 100% sure what day, but it is basically an empty eyeshadow pan because um, I used up the rest of my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Masquerade. You know, the one that was like eventful and dropped in my video when I was filming the intro and shattered everywhere that one so that one was done as well so i really actually you know looking back i have quite a bit of progress i didn't think i was going to be able to even get this far with it so i don't know i guess i'm pretty excited that i got as much progress as i did and like i said i will mention in the description box or up on the screen one of the two whether i did finish up anything or got more progress on anything that i filmed today in the next few days thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out everybody down below they are fantastic youtubers they're all panners and they are just sweethearts so definitely check them out tell them i sent you tell them i love them and i will see you guys on the next video bye guys